Cut. Smile. Me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to be in a movie. I don't have. <laughs> I don't either, but yeah. it doesn't matter. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> About me blowing my nose. <laughs> All right. There's a lady. I could tell you this. There's a lady in the rehab therapy thing. And she and I have the same birthday. We're both May 8th, both born on Mother's Day. And she's, she will be 80. And she said to me, I don't know if you'll be around, but <laughs> she knows I'll be 92. <laughs> there are some really funny people out there. There's one lady. So that, tell me something about your life. Something about when you were growing up, something about when you were young. <laughs> oh, I was born in the Children's Hospital in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we lived, my dad was in the service. Mm -hmm. My mother was a Red Cross nurse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we moved to Southern California and lived at Fort MacArthur in San Pedro. And I went to the Sheridan School. No, not the Sheridan School. Anyway, it was a public school. And I was supposed to ride the bus, but I usually walked. <coughs> and then we moved back to San Francisco. Lived in the Presidio. Mm -hmm. for, and then I went on the boat and the train, no, streetcar, the boat, the train, to Berkeley, to the academy. Every day? How long did it take you? Huh? How long did it take you to do that? Well, at least a half hour on the boat. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, it was a long trip. Um, mm. We went down Market Street at the very end there, at the, where the clock tower is and caught the boat, went across the bay and took a streetcar <clears throat> to Berkeley and went to the academy there. And let's see. How old were you when you met Elder Smith? How old? Mm -hmm. I was, when I met him, oh, I was 18. Was he in the academy too? Well, he came there in the fall. Mm -hmm. And all the girls were going after him. Did you go after him or did he come after you? Neither one. We didn't have anything to do with each other. <coughs> How did it happen? Well, <laughs> in chemistry class, he was across from me doing experiments and um, a girl and I were doing some together on our side, and this girl was wild about him. And I didn't like him because he was always making things that blew up. <laughs> but anyway, we ha I had a party at my house one time, <clears throat> and uh, my dad was a Pinkerton detective. He was out of the service then. And he worked at the Sunshine Biscuit Company in San Francisco, and he'd bring all these fancy cookies home. So we had a table full of fancy cookies. And uh, so we decided to have the party. And the kids came, and uh, it was one of those progressive parties where you had to go out and find this and find that and bring it back. <laughs> we stole a slow sign off. We, you know, that's a... Uh, no, no. <laughs> and uh, we had to find, I don't know who made up this list, 
I had to find a, an empty slow gin bottle, and so George emptied it. <laughs> it was full? Mm -hmm. So you drank a bottle of gin? <laughs> he went to the liquor store and bought it. Oh. <coughs> and <laughs> emptied it. And Make him drunk? Yes, but he got real silly. Yeah, I shouldn't be putting this on here, Gabe. <laughs> Nobody but you sees this. <laughs> anyway, his brothers took him home. <laughs> but he just sat there and laughed and giggled and laughed. Everything was funny to him. <laughs> oh, dear. That's when you thought you liked him. for that. Well, the way we got together was we had a party at the school, and my boyfriend of too long standing was from, came over from San Francisco. And George was living with a family that had a boy and a girl that he, they'd known each other in Texas. <clears throat> he didn't like that girl and she couldn't keep her hands off of him. <laughs> and so he was running around in the rooms at the school trying to get away from her and I was trying to get away from Charles, who I didn't want to see. And so we bumped into each other, and he says, he says, do you have a partner? I said, no, do you? <laughs> so we became partners. <laughs> this is a party? Yeah. And I don't know what happened to Charles and Marta, but the, they were out of the picture. <laughs> and then on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to pause it. No other daddy ever did anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so when you started... Going together, you were 18? He was 18 too? He was 19 and I was 18 when we got married, so probably I was 17 when I met him. <laughs> Are we back on? Bam. Oh. Was it love at first sight? No. No, no. it wasn't? You didn't like it? It was a matter of convenience. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. oh, we got... We got friendly, and one day we had a day when they you could either go to school or take the day off. I don't know why. Maybe it was a teacher's conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. So we walked up to Berkeley to the uh, campus of UC, UC Berkeley and <clears throat> sat down on the grass, and he told me all about his life in Texas, and I told him about my life. <laughs> And from then on, we were partners. Hmm. So uh, was that during your senior year or freshman year? Hmm? Was that during your senior year or junior year? When was that? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was early in our senior year. Mm -hmm. So by the time your senior year ended, you were married? Ten days after we graduated, wow. we married. But we only went together five months. <clears throat> but you know, we were very mature. So you thought. We knew what we wanted. So you thought. <laughs> <laughs> and we were saving our money. We were not going to tell anybody until the right time. To get married or you were engaged? To get married. Oh, okay. So that was a mistake because <laughs> my mother and my sister and I went to camp meeting. And our principal was um, in charge of the little grocery store at camp meeting up at Lodi. And he said, well, congratulations, Mrs. Morgan. <laughs> and she thought he meant because I graduated. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, because she's getting married. Her groceries and ran out of the store <laughs> to find me. And I, we never could convince her that George was coming up that night to tell them what we were planning. She never believed it. <laughs> thought they were going to run away? <laughs> no, she just she just thought we were going to sneak it. Yeah, sneak I guess out. so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. That's funny. <laughs> Oh my, and then she, she, that ended camp meeting for her. She went home. <laughs> we all went home. <laughs> and she told my dad, and I, I don't know whether he cared one way or the other. He was kind of passive. Hmm. Your mother wanted you to be single longer. <laughs> I'm 
She wanted me to go to college like my sister did. Oh, okay. But I was not a college person. At least not then. Maybe I would have been later, but I wasn't then. Why were you not a college person? I wasn't interested. Oh, okay. I just... Didn't want to be a teacher uh -huh. or a nurse or anything? No. I was just through with school. You just wanted to be a housewife. <laughs> I don't know if I even wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's did how. He, did, did he have to talk very long to get you to agree to get married? Hmm? Did he have to talk very long to agree to get you to get you to say, "Okay, I'll marry you"? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were ready, huh? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. We were driving one night down to the church on a Friday night. They always had Friday night young people's meeting. <clears throat> and uh, after it was over, he was going to take me home, and he did a U-turn down the street there. And he said, honey, will you marry me? And I said, yes, right Just on like that. that eh? <laughs> so that was it. <clears throat> and when we found our apartment and paid the utilities and everything, we had just maybe less than a dollar left over. <laughs> That's the way you did things in those days. <clears throat> what was he doing for work? Oh, yeah, he was working with his dad. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had a secure job. <laughs> and <clears throat> downtown, once a year, they had big sales like, I, um, I thought I'd surprise him, so I took his check and spent every bit of it downtown. You could ride downtown free on the streetcar that day. <clears throat> I bought a toaster, the kind that the sides go down and, you know, <laughs> and for 50 cents. I mean, these were new things. Wow. I bought, he, he needed clothes, and so I bought him pajamas and underwear and socks and shirts and everything. I don't remember if I bought myself anything. <laughs> But I spent the whole check, and when he came home, he was about to pass out to think his whole check had been spent. We hadn't even paid the rent. <laughs> but, oh well, he was working for his dad, so. <laughs> he got a loan from his dad. <laughs> his dad wasn't <clears throat> very generous with the money, but somehow we managed. <laughs> Were George's brothers here? in the same area, or they were back in Texas? George? His brothers, were they there in California, or were they in Texas? Um, he stayed in California. Mm -hmm. He was the youngest uh, paint contractor in the whole state. Mm -hmm. Took the test. But his brothers were where then? His brothers? Marvin's father, where were, where were they? <clears throat> yeah, Marvin and Charlie and Rob. Rob was just a little kid. He was 10 years younger than George. But George and Marvin and Charlie all stayed out in California. They drove out first. Then the folks came out and set up their business, and the boys worked with their dad. The thing I didn't like was they gave their money to their dad. They didn't really have much of an income, you know? So... Hmm. It was kind of a funny situation. I didn't like it. So did you go on a honeymoon? When you got married? No. You didn't go on a honeymoon? We didn't even have a car. <laughs> we used one of the Smith cars. They had several cars because they bought, brought cars out from Texas and sold them. <clears throat> but one year at New Year's, we went up to visit our principal and his wife. Our principal had tried to keep George and me apart because he felt we were moving a little too fast, you know. <laughs> and so he had George up on the red carpet several times. But anyway, we liked him and we went up to see them New Year's Eve. And it was Mr. Baldwin. And he had a little 32 Ford, I think it was. And we bought it from him for $99. We should have kept that thing. That was a treasure. 
But anyway, that got us around. <laughs> Otherwise, we took the streetcar, you know. When, when was it you got married? What year? 39. Same year I graduated from Academy. Oh. <laughs> and Kathy was born in 40. <coughs> hmm. I got changed tape. <laughs>